Hello and welcome to the workshop back in the lab. As you can see, if this is your first time stopping by, then welcome. And if you have been here before, then welcome back. If you love sneakers, then you are in the right place. The workshop is the place to be. Now, we've done a couple videos recently on some of my favorite releases this year. The update video on the Nike and Sakai LDV waffle, the Travis Scott Jordan 1. We customized the Jordan 4 Black Cement, a few sneakers that I absolutely love. This is kind of doing a 360 because I do not love this sneaker at all. In fact, I think they are ugly. The UGG and BAPE collaboration I was doing a little shopping for sneakers recently at Kixar for us and saw these on the shelf and was shocked at how much they were going for. Now, I'm a fan of Bape. I dig a lot of the stuff they've done over the years. Sneaker wise, clothing wise, they have done some dope stuff. Uggs? Not so much. I know they became a trend semi-recently. I'm not sure if that's still a thing, but for me, Ugg is a hell to the na-na-na. I know Tom Brady wears them, and maybe that's the secret to his success, but the furry kicks don't really go with my feng shui. Cozy boys, I know they're probably very comfortable and all that good stuff. For me, no. Apple bottom jeans, boots with the fur, hell to the na-na-na. And for six to seven hundred bucks, no way Jose. And even the retail price point, I think was 350, which is still, that's a lot of money. That's more than Yeezys. That's more than Off-White. That's more than a lot of sneakers. I know they used Lil Wayne for the promo picks. I get he digs them, but it is still a no for me. In the words of Randy Jackson, it's a no for me, dog. It just is. And these YR blank sneakers, so expensive, have almost become like a series here on the channel, even though the answers are usually pretty similar, right? Because everything comes down to supply and demand. You create the hype, you keep them limited, and that's what a lot of these sneaker companies do, and it works. Having said all that, I'm still surprised someone would be willing to pay six or $700 for this sneaker, for an UGG. Ah. I don't know, I don't know. And I say this all the time too, but if you dig these, by all means, rock them until the soles fall off. Just because I don't like them doesn't mean that you can't love them. I'm just giving you our opinions and our perspectives here on this channel. That's what we do. As far as the details go on this sneaker, brown suede, as you can see, you see the Bape camo as well, Bape Dubre, Bape Star on the side, extra chunky midsole, some UGG branding as well, and it's a mostly gum outsole, which I normally love. This is probably the only sneaker in existence that has a gum bottom that I don't like. I'm exaggerating, obviously, but I love gum bottoms. I absolutely love them, but these, I just cannot get jiggy with them. I can't. I'm not sure they come in my size, even if I did want to get jiggy in them, but we don't need to worry about that because, like I said, not happening. What are your thoughts on this sneaker? Do you love them? Do you hate them? I do gotta say, I do like the texture on the midsole. I think that looks kind of dope, but everything from the shade of brown to the extra fur all over the place, it's just not really my speed. Leave a comment below though and let us know how you feel about Bape, about Uggs, about whatever you're feeling. Always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. You are very, very appreciated. We will be back tomorrow. Same time, same place right here at the workshop. Until then, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Mr. Fomer Simpson. See you soon.